Hello power pickers! Warning! If you are searching for a good guitar adjustment video, then this one is definitely not the right one for you because in this video I want to see if it's possible to break the guitar neck by over loosening or over tightening the truss rod. Oh yeah, you hear the cracking noise? Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to go further, but let's give it another 90 degrees, come on! Before we start with any adjustment, I will show you that cool Ibanez tool I am using for that. So sometimes it comes with guitars and sometimes you have to order it separately. Depends on the guitar you have. You have a great tool for measurement. That's really cool to measure the string height, for example. Uh, you have all the screwdrivers you need and you also have all kind of tools for adjusting the truss rod or anything else on the guitar. So this is a really powerful tool, I love it and I will use it for this video. Since there are so many different guitar brands and factories, there are a lot of ways to assess the uh, truss rod. So for example on the Ibanez J Custom, you have instant assess over here, you need a special tool for it. Uh, that's a great one. For example, in the Japanese factory or for uh, the Prestige line and Genesis line, they have the screws here, so you have to open the screws to take away the cover. Uh, also a very common system. A little bit cooler on some guitars, they use this system over here. So here you have a reel and if you take a pick you can easily pull it down. Okay, it's not easy, but you can totally do that. And then you have access again to the truss rod. A very powerful tool as well. And some guitar brands, like for example Charvel, they don't have any assessment over here. They are using that wheel. It's a little bit faster, way cooler I guess, but yeah, that's how it is. There are so many different videos out there which shows you exactly how to set up the neck and how to adjust the truss rod for perfect playability. But uh, it, this video should be a little bit different because uh, I realized all the people tell you you should not overturn that wheel, go step by step and never over tighten the neck. And that's what we are doing in this video. So we try out how flexible a guitar neck is and how good this Ibanez Chio guitar really is. Uh, so that means you will see perfectly what is a concave and a convex guitar neck and how to adjust in, in which direction you should adjust the, uh, the wheel and also what happens if you over tighten or over loosen the neck. Before you watch further let me tell you I don't care what happens with this guitar never do that at home because maybe you destroy your guitar so it's not my fault it's yours but let's go on! I hope you are able to see now the string and the guitar neck and yeah, usually if you press down somewhere here where the, the guitar neck goes into the body and here on the first fret, then you should be able to uh, push the string for a little bit. So you op the optimum is to have half a millimeter between the fret and the string. As you can see here, we have nothing. So we definitely need to loosen the neck a little bit. To loosen the guitar neck, you have to turn counterclockwise. That means in this direction. So uh, yeah, we will see what happens if we do that. And uh, yeah, of course there are a lot of rules how to do that. So people always recommend to uh, yeah, down tune the guitar first or remove the guitar strings by doing that. 
uh, in this video I don't care about that so I just begin to loosen the guitar neck until uh, we can't turn it anymore we will see what happens so definitely the guitar will now uh, bend a little bit more forward that's what I hope so I see that this tool is not perfect because pulling it out is even hard but yeah oh and for now it, it works really easy that's maybe somewhere in the middle who oh, do you see any difference I think we can see some difference so now we have that half millimeter so maybe for now it's optimal but let's go into the into the max position and we will hear if the guitar neck uh, gives up or what happens next uh, the truss rod is now really very easy to turn So maybe I destroy that guitar now, but I don't care. It's for the video. It's for you guys. You will see what happens. And for now it goes harder. Okay. Every turn is now a pain in the ass. Oh yeah, you hear the cracking noise? Oh my god, I don't want to go further, but let's give it another 90 degrees. Come on, the last one. You will hear it. Listen. Okay, I can't turn it anymore. But do you see now the angle of the neck? We have so much... Uh, such a big gap between the string and the frets so for now oh my god I have three millimeters between the E string and the guitar neck or the fret so if I press it down oh my god that's crazy let me see if I can measure that so if I press it down I have more than two millimeters gap between the E string and the fret that's insane so the playability wouldn't be great but uh, let's test playability so for now the neck is at its maximum it's both like this so that means it's very concave and uh, I found out now when I play the guitar that uh, you can listen from the 8th fret higher you have fret bass the higher you go the more it is and that's natural because uh, in this area here we have a hole that means if you press down the string over here it will touch the frets over here so that's not the optimum and then it looks pretty bone to be honest now let's find out what happens if you over tighten the fretboard so for now we have a big gap between the strings and uh, the guitar neck it's bended very much forward so we want the neck to bend backward a little bit more that means we have to go clockwise so in this case I'm going back to the right side so we have uh, let me do away that string over here and this one over here to have more space so I already done 90 degrees 90 more are 180 270 360 degrees so that was almost one complete turnaround so now I have one and a half and for now 
it already begins to be a little bit harder. All right, I'm almost on two complete turnarounds. Whoa, all right. Looks completely different now. Let's go further. Oh my God, that's hard. Let's over tighten it. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what you definitely should not do at home, because that feels so weird. Maybe I destroy it. <laughs> oh my god. That's pretty tight. So, the more we turn, the tighter it is. And... Almost three turnarounds now. And look what happens with the guitar. Do you see that? That's crazy. Man, that's crazy. All right, let's make the test. So if I press here and here, nothing, no gap. No gap between the fret and the string. So uh, it doesn't make sense to measure it because we are on zero millimeters on the little E string as well. Yeah. That's what happens if you over tighten it. But uh, no cracks so far on the guitar. So maybe we go a little bit further. But first take a look on the playability. Fret bus is almost everywhere. So maybe here around the, the 12th fret. Is the best but uh, that's pretty natural because if you hold the guitar like this then now when it's over tightened you have a little back in here so it's convex and uh, that means that um, yeah of course only here so when you have that back only on the top of it you will hear no string bass but here, uh, yeah, it's logic, because here the neck goes upward a little bit. Um, yeah, that's cool, but not enough. Let's go a little bit further. Let's tighten it even more. I want to see what happens. Oh my God. Sorry, little guitar, but I don't care. Or even I care. We will see. Okay. All right. It's not possible to turn it anymore. <laughs> That's it. We are on complete tightened neck. So, uh, yeah. As you can see, it's possible to adjust a neck from... Uh, so we, we are talking about the gap between the string and the fret. It's possible to set up the neck from zero millimeters to two and a half millimeters and that's almost three complete turnarounds that's great since this neck is over tightened now i want to bring it in an optimal playing position because the guitar uh, doesn't show any cracks or something so uh yeah i will loosen the neck to the position i like then I will tune it and set it up the best way for me. And yeah, the best way, it's, it's different for everyone, but I recommend to have a small little gap, so maybe half a millimeter between the fret and the string. All right, guys, I gave my best, but it was not possible to crack the guitar neck by uh, over tighten or over loosening the truss rod, which is good because that takes away the fear of uh, breaking the guitar by not knowing what you're doing. Uh, so my tip is if you are adjusting the truss rod and it's really hard to turn, it, then you should stop and rethink what you're doing. 
If you like this extreme experiment with the guitar and you like also Shrek guitar, then maybe you should subscribe my channel and click the bell to not miss my next videos.